you're watching That Love Will Bowl and Life and if this is the first time you're seeing our faces on YouTube, I'm Sam and this is my wife Rianne. And this is episode six of our Heartland series and we're in the Queen of Estates, it's Queenstown. And we're starting right on the southern ridges but before we go and explore, please do like this video so more people get to see it and subscribe, it's absolutely, completely and utterly free. Right, right. let's go exploring. So welcome to episode six of our Heartland series. We are in Queenstown, as Rianne mentioned, and if this is the first time you've seen one of our Heartland videos, they're my favorite things to do on YouTube. We find the two best things to do in that particular Heartland, this time Queenstown, and we also try and find the best food to eat, and we're gonna go and explore a little bit more now. So the really cool thing about Southern Ridges is it connects three parks together, which is Mount Faber Park, Tullochblanga Hill Park and Kent Ridge Park. And the thing that connects them together is Henderson Waves. And we're just going to walk them right now. about Henderson Waves, it's the highest pedestrian bridge here in Singapore and as you can see the views are incredible including some of the oldest HDB blocks on the island. So aside from being the highest pedestrian bridge here in Singapore, one of the coolest things about the Henderson Waves is the actual shape and there's no ambiguity of why it got its name because the shape is just a collection of massive waves. actually a Sunday morning and as you can see there's lots of people out it's definitely a popular place to visit and one of the things that I noticed which I've never really experienced before is that the bridge is on an incline or I guess decline if you're coming from a different park which I find really interesting and kind of a unique experience all in itself. So the Southern Ridges is way more than just Henderson Waves. As Rianne mentioned earlier, all the parks that connect through, but if you were to do the whole hike, it comprises of a 10 kilometer loop. So we're just walking down and I spotted this incredible looking tree. One of the things I love about Singapore is it's agriculture and I have to say this one is something to be stopped and admired and looked at. coming on a more adventurous route to the Hort Park but actually we discovered the Al Kaf Mansion which is well worth a visit it has cocktail bars and restaurants and as you can see is pretty popular behind me we wanted to visit Queenstown is you may or may not know or can tell by the accent that we're from the UK and Queenstown was actually named after Queen Elizabeth II in 1953 and of course she has just commemorated 70 years on the throne and in and around Queenstown many of the streets are actually named after places in Scotland where the Queen spent a lot of her childhood.
So we've just finished at location number one. Yes, we started at Mount Faber Park and then we went through Henderson Waves and now we're just exiting at Hawk Park. And it's early and Sunday morning, we haven't eaten yet. So we're gonna head off to one of the oldest hawker centers here in Singapore, ABC Brickworks. And we're gonna try and find some of the best food to eat here in Queenstown. So we're on our way to get food here in Queenstown, which is home to some of the oldest HDBs in Singapore, but also some modern and really unique designed condos like the interlace behind me. So for lunch, we decided to come to ABC Brickworks, which is one of the oldest established hawker centers in Singapore. Now, ABC was named after the Archipelago Brewing Company, and Brickworks comes from the brickwork companies in the area. Now, one of the best places to eat here is Fatty Chong, and I cannot wait for the succulent roasted meats that we're gonna have for lunch. And one of the other good things about Fatty Chong is that it has one of the biggest queues here at this hawker center, which is always a great sign. Rianne's been in there for about 10 minutes and we are nearly at the front. After waiting in the queue, actually not too long considering this place is really famous and the reason why it's famous is because their char siu uses a part of the pork which is not commonly used, which is the armpit. But I guess that's probably why it's quite fatty, so let's uh, give it a go. And it has this also unique kind of gravy on it as well. I'm super tempted to try it, let's have a go. Flavorful, the fattiness definitely comes through. I'm gonna try the suyok now. I like the gravy as well. It's kind of a nice thick soy sauce flavor, but a little bit sweet at the end as well. I'm not actually sure what it is. Mm. I like that better. The suyok is even better. Now good food always has to be washed down with good drink and you cannot be in a hawker centre. We did do this video about the best drinks in Singapore. One of my favourites is apple juice and yakult. You mix it up, you get this really incredible colour. It tastes amazing, so I'm going to go for it now. Mm, so refreshing. Best thing in the hawker centre if you're going to order, green apple and yakult. So we've just finished at the hawker centre and I have to say, you should always go to the hawker. It's so ingrained in Singapore culture and you do not want to waste it, do not want to lose it because it's such cheap and great food. That of course was ABC Brickworks and as I said, is the, one of the oldest hawker centers here in Singapore. And in Queenstown, what's really cool about this place, it's actually a place of first. So it was the first satellite town and it also became the first polyclinic the first flatted factory, the first vocational institute, and the first community library. So it really is a place where a lot of pioneering things happened for Singapore. Now we're off to location number three. So now we're at location number three. We're at Harpa Villa, which used to be called Tiger Balm Garden. So 
Harpa Villa is an 8.5 hectare cultural park and it's the last of its kind here in Asia and it was actually built by the R brothers who were the ones who introduced Tiger Balm to the world and so it's a really cool place to go explore so let's take you around. Now the really cool thing about this place is that it's nearly 100 years old. It was actually built in 1937. And another cool thing that I really like, one thing that I love putting in these Heartland series, is that this place is completely free. You can just come in, walk in. If you want to go to some of the exhibits, like the Hells Museum, you do have to pay. But most of the park is free to enter. Now one of the best things about being an expat and visiting this Asian cultural park is you learn new things. For example, this guy was an opium war hero and he fought off the pesky Brits from invading China. So here in Harpa Villa, all the statues have a tale and reasoning why they're here. So right behind me is Confucius, and he was one of the world's most famous philosophers. I found my sculpture lying in bed on the phone. And according to someone, we've just found my sculpture. <laughs> now that Singapore borders are open, it is one great place to take people, is Harpo Villa, because it is completely free to come here and you can get right up close personal with the statues of everything here, including my lookalike, the Big Buddha. I mentioned earlier how Queenstown is pioneering as a heartland for Singapore. Not only does it have the highest pedestrian bridge, but it also has the largest outdoor art gallery. the three statues behind me represent the three desires of men you've got happiness you've got prosperity and the old man over there is longevity so this is where Harper house was situated and it was said to be only one in the world which combined Chinese mythology and European finery but unfortunately it's no longer here as you can see it actually had quite a sad demolishing because one of the brothers who built it he had to flee during the second world war and the other brother who stayed couldn't bear to see it so demolished it only a few years later <laughs> So 
So that brings us to the end of episode six of our Heartland series here in Queenstown. Yeah, we started off in the Southern Ridges. And then we went to ABC Brickworks. And now we ended off here in Harpar Villa. And I just wanted to share a little story. As Sam said, it is nearly a hundred years old. And one of the first places that my grandpa took my mum when they first came to Singapore was right here at Harpar Villa. So it really does have a special place in my heart. Yeah, you can see why, because it's really, really Really interesting place we have loved it I'm sure we'll be back I'm sure we'll bring in family but I've really enjoyed this exploration of our number six in our Heartland series absolutely I have to just say how well maintained everything is as well especially with all the sculptures looking very vibrant and beautiful yes if you have enjoyed this video which we really hope you have please drop a like on it it does really help us and it really shows it off to new people and if you haven't done already what have you been doing <laughs> please do subscribe it really helps us yep. and it's completely free and there'll be more videos like this do let us uh, know in the comments where you think we should go next in our heartland series but thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one